Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the Parkside Merchant Channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a mail opening video. If you're new to this channel, feel free to drop a like, comment, subscribe if this sort of stuff interests you. Uh, we've got all kinds of good original content and openings related to the vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! market. So I think without further ado, we'll probably go ahead and dive in here. Uh, this should be a pretty quick video, just a couple of items. Um, and I have no idea what's in pretty much all the envelopes, so it's going to be mostly surprises for me. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so we'll start maybe with this uh, smaller item here. This one's from Indiana. Let's see what we have here. Feels like a, does feel like a raw card. Let's see. And just a piece of paper. Okay. Um, oh, good. Here we go, nice little uh, Jigen Bakudan. For those of you following the channel, you know that I've been very interested in the Bakudan Detonator short print from Magic Ruler. Magic Ruler is generating a lot of buzz right now. Uh, you know, this, this is a pretty cool card, pretty iconic Pegasus staple. I think it was also in the Pegasus starter deck, so that's always kind of a fun one there. Let's see what we have here. It's another one raw card, I think, from New Hampshire in this one. But those Jig and Bakudons, I'm not really grading those, um, at least for now. Might be part of a uh, some registry stuff maybe or some other things I'm working on. So uh, let's see here. Oh, I do not like the way, oh, there we go. Okay, I was gonna say, I do not like the way this thing is packaged because I was having a hard time getting it out. Oh, good. Command Knight. So uh, again, for those of you following my channel, you know that I'm very interested in the Collector 10 CT1. Uh, specifically, the Insect Queen is really the card that I'm most interested in there. This little guy here, let me pull my light over a little bit so you can get a look at this, but condition, not looking so good. Right, this guy was supposed to be near mint and he's got some issues. I'm probably not gonna send this, oh yeah. Check it out, you can see that nice dent there on the on the side so that's that's a problem that's problem one you know problem two uh, there's just like stuff on the top it's just not not really a gradable card probably for now back looks all messed up so that's okay I don't really remember why I purchased this to be honest probably looked better in the pictures and I figured I'd take a gamble on it. Some of them are just still really cheap, so it's only a couple bucks. And let's face it, you know, there are, well, we'll see, you know, you don't want to put the cart before the horse, right? You get a card that's like kind of iffy. Maybe one day you will decide to send it out to PSA if, um, you know, the popularity of the CT1 set increases and if the value of those, uh, that family of cards begins to appreciate. Okay, next up, let's uh, let's do this one. This feels like a graded card in here. I think this one was from uh, Massachusetts here. really stuck in there. Actually, this may not be a graded card. This might just be somebody like getting real carried away with it. Oh, it is graded. I can see there's something in there that's graded. Almost there, folks. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Check this out. Uh, very nice. So you know how I've been talking a lot about these collector's tins, right? We've got over here our uh, the Command Knight from the same family. Um, here we go, Insect Queen. Uh, 
PSA 10, Gen Mint from the Collector's 10. Um, this is, I believe, the misprint, it looks like. Some of these come in like the secret where they're like all, you know, they're all sparkly and shiny. I've got, I've got a couple of those. This particular one is a, um, you, you can see the, it's not the, the way that it's supposed to look for the secrets. It's like some kind of a funky misprint that just makes it not sparkly. Still really cool. I think it still has a lot of good um, sort of nostalgia peculiarity as well because it's, uh, you know, this is the Weevil Underwood original, sort of his staple card uh, throughout most of the Battle City tournament as well as in season three. So it's, it's a big card. Um, this is the first edition of it, basically, if you want to get the first most OG version of the Insect Queen. Uh, it is the CT1 uh, version of it, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I've been trying to pick up some more of these to try and grade some myself, but a lot of these are in really bad shape, folks, like really rough shape. So, um, so yeah, very, very cool, fun card. Okay, let's move on here. I think we'll do this one next. This is from Canada. Um, I don't really remember exactly what this one was, so let's find out. Feels like it's a raw card. It's a pretty light envelope. Yeah, here we go. Um, let's see here. All right, uh, I'm gonna try to do a dramatic reveal here on this guy, okay? Um, all right, I'm gonna try to, it's like stuck. It, I can't, I was gonna like try to show the back and make it all fun. I can't, because it's like stuck to the cardboard. So here it is, this is the grand reveal. Um, and for those of you that follow this channel, uh, you know that I'm a big fan of the um, Garnetia Elephantis card. And these are really hard to find today. It's like the super minty first edition, uh, ungraded. Not a lot of those out there. Um, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff listed for sure, but there are not a ton of them that look really good. And this one, again, like you gotta you gotta be careful on eBay, right? You get burned a lot with raw cards, but this guy looked pretty clean from the pictures. And um, looked like somebody that I would be eager to get out to PSA as soon as possible. So let's see how he looks. I don't understand. You know, here's the thing, folks. Some of you guys are going to freak out over this. Every so often, you get a card where there's like tape up at the top. And if I pulled this guy out, because I think this is a pull tab here, I think it could destroy the card. It could get all yucky and sticky if I'm not careful. So I'm gonna do something that's gonna make some people really nervous here for a second, but I'm actually gonna break open this top loader and I'm gonna pull him out the other end because I just, I mean, for those of you that know how this goes, it's like these guys can get destroyed by tape, so. And he looks really clean from what I can see here. I'm gonna take him out just to do a quick uh, quick show. I might do a, a more careful look down here later. Uh, he's got this back scratch, unfortunately. You can see that. That's the kind of thing, folks, where if you angle the camera right on eBay, you don't see it at all, right? And you can ask them to send you a couple extra pics. And depending on how they shoot it, in certain lighting, you won't see that. So that kind of sucks. The back scratch is not cool. Um, that's kind of a bummer. I didn't pay a lot for this guy, so that's okay. Um, you know, the front looks pretty good here too. I don't think it's a counterfeit either, so that's good, you know. Um, so yeah, this is good. Probably will go out to PSA. You know, this is a this is a cool card, so. I'm pleased with this purchase. Get this guy back in the sleeve. 
Okay, so now I think to close this out here, we're going to open up this envelope. Um, I don't really know what's in here. So it's from Alabama. Let's just go ahead and open this up. Probably just going to slice it open like this. And then maybe we'll just spill out. Oh, look at this. This is fun. That's different. OK, so it's a priority mail envelope that's filled with other envelopes. This is sort of like those little, uh, you know, the little dolls where you have the little, like, tinier versions of them inside of, I don't know the name. You guys know what I'm talking about. You've seen them before. All right, let's, uh, let's start with this one. Why don't we? All right. Wait. OK, good. Sometimes you feel like you're cutting into something when you do this. What the heck is this? I don't know what I bought here, folks. Let's figure it out. Let's get to the bottom of this, shall we? Figure out what's going on in here. OK. So I certainly didn't buy. This is like medical tape, too. That's kind of weird, kind of gross. Kind of weird, folks. Medical tape, that's kind of funky. Um. Just go ahead and spill these guys out. All right, so I think I know what this is now. There was some, oh, this looks like a bunch of modern stuff too. Yuck. All right, well, in any case, this was somebody that had a collection that I bought. Um, and there were a couple cards, as I recall, in here that looked kind of interesting. Um, ooh. Oh, man. Nasty condition there, people. Check that out. That's just heavy play. Not good. So I'm just going to go through these kind of quickly so that I don't waste my time on these again. LOB, Monster Reborn. It's in really rough shape, though. Oh. Exchange. These are all just like heavy play. Graceful Dice. That's, oh my god, look at this. It looks like. Just absolute atrocity of condition. All right, maybe these next envelopes will be good. Let's see. It's just going to be a bunch of these, um, these like little kits of cards. Very funny way that this person packed this stuff here. Come on, get us something mint or good. Let's see. This is sort of like pack breaking, but it's not quite as exciting. These were not quite as uh, expensive as a, as a pack. I don't know anything about this. Maybe that's a good card. It's in terrible condition, so whatever it is. That's like a modern set. I don't even know what that is. I think this person was a smoker too. Uh, let's see. Next up. These feel like they're just raw cards in there. Let's see what we have this time. Oh, a lot of modern stuff. I don't even remember what I was fishing for with this collect. This is terrible. There must have been something in here that I saw that I liked, but I'm not remembering it, and I'm certainly not seeing it yet. Oh, man. Wow, look at the level of play on this stuff is just not good, guys. And look, you know, this was a gamble, right? It was one of those people selling a raw collection, and, you know, you ask for some more pictures, you know, you try to do your diligence or whatever, and you, you take a risk, right? That's that's part of this, um, it's part of the fun of this, uh, this hobby, right? Is that you, um, sometimes you hit it big and sometimes you, uh, you don't, you strike out. And on this collection, we are striking out real hard, folks. So, 
Let's see, maybe this will find some kind of Hail Mary here in the last envelope. All right, folks, get some uh, LOB first edition blue eyes or something in here maybe. I don't know, let's see. Okay, we got a old, yeah, this looks terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. All right, we got a BPT Genzo. Oh, look at that, we got two. Make that a, a, a double, two BPT Genzos, both of which are in very, very dubious condition. Um, we got one that's heavy, we got one that's heavy play, we got one that's like just poor. I don't even know, what, what is a PSA one? It's like extremely heavy play or just damaged. <laughs> damaged. These are both, these are both PSA one Genzos here, unfortunately. Um, that's too bad. Uh, let's see what's next. We got some Buster Bladers. We got a BPT Buster Blader. That's like a terrible condition. Some of these token cards, I don't really know what those are. It's like modern stuff. So, okay, we mostly got burned. Um, not burned, I shouldn't say that. We mostly got just not very useful stuff that's gonna be very, um, advantageous for the old collection here. So the good news is, let's just do a quick little recap here of what we've got. Um, we've got a, a stack of junk mostly. There might be a couple in there that, you know, maybe the maybe those Jinzos one day will be worth something in terrible condition. Uh, you know, we've got there. I am pleased with my Insect Queen, um, and I am pretty pleased with this Garnesia Elephantus that came looking pretty good. And then we've got this Command Knight, which is you know, there's some potential there, I think, to maybe grade it down the road. And then we've got our Jigen Bakudan uh, just for our collection of, of those cards. So pretty good, uh, you know, pretty good opening here today. Um, let me know what you think. You know, feel free to drop a comment or let me know if there's some stuff in here that looked really interesting to you. We might do some giveaways with some of the stuff that came out of that nasty collection there down the road. Um, you know, because some folks do like Jinzos, right? If you're a big Jinzo person, then pulling two BPT Genzos, even finding those things today is actually kind of hard. So those guys might be worth something. There was Blue Eyes from Starter Deck Kaiba Evolution, uh, which looked like it was in, you know, it wasn't as catastrophic as those Genzos. So there might be some value there down the road. So uh, I think that's about all for today, folks. Uh, once again, this is Parkside Merchant Channel. Um, you know, lots of original content, lots of openings related to vintage Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, you know, feel free to let me know if you have questions or drop a comment or anything like that here um, on today's video. So thanks again, folks. We'll see you next time.